Hi everybody, it's Lair. Thank you so much for stopping by, visiting the auction for our 1998 Ford Econoline conversion van. It's a universal conversion. Not sure about the series. Might be a Passport series. I'm not really sure. They have a couple different series. But uh, here it is. Thought I'd give you a quick little walk around. It's a local. Pennsylvania one owner from in the Allentown area uh, kind of a well they're kind of a senior couple now they've owned it since new so for the 25 years um, 75 or 8 whatever it is miles are in the 70s always garage kept it really is in fantastic condition amazing condition for the year it is um, I've had uh, had some contact with the owner and that's kind of why I know it was garage kept and even if I didn't know just by looking at it you would be able to tell that it was garage kept really in great condition really a nice van like I said 70 some thousand miles and once we get the door open we'll see what it is exactly you see it's the Triton V8 the emerald green paint with the uh, graphics kit on it and the, the ground effects, the flares. Has the uh, OE Ford aluminum wheels, the uh, machined wheels with the clear coat on them. Brand new General Grabber radials, outline white letter radials that I put on in 2021. That's when I that's when I got it in 2021. Um, this is kind. Of, this was a personal, a personal vehicle. I mean, as you see on the listing, I am a dealer, but this this was a personal vehicle. I have a small collection of cars that uh, kind of at at the point in our life that it's it's time to reduce them a little bit. So that's why we're putting up for sale. But I want to go over a few things with the car that really make it stand out. As far as the condition take a look at the belt moldings I'll run along this real quick how about it's not dried out it's not cracked it's as supple as the day it was new comes up around to the window molding same way how about the door jam look at the rivets in or in the handle I mean door handle look at the rivets they, they look like they're brand new like they haven't been touched no age whatsoever Here's the lower body. A couple of nicks on the stripes. I'll try to highlight as we're going around. There's the ground effects on the bottom. A little, little, little bit of a stress crack there. I don't know if you can see it. There is a crack on the back here that I'll get to right now as I come up along the fair. Oh, flare, I'm sorry. A little bit of a spot right here. I'll try to highlight it in where the, where the, uh, flare meets the meets the body a little bit of a wear in the paint right there and there's that crack I told you about right here um, happened not long after the owner the owner got the van it was self-inflicted and he never did anything with it which I can understand because he didn't think it was a big deal um, paint is is exceptional a lot of depth a lot of shine uh, some mild chips on the hood which I'll, I'll try to highlight some of them okay the sides are as straight as can be dings dents gouges etc scratches I don't you know other than a, a few small small chips there's a couple of chips in the, in the stripe on the side you can see a couple right there even like like Look at the, the belt moldings around the windows. Like, they're just beautiful. Just beautiful. So I thought I'd highlight that a little bit. Chrome is really nice. How about the, the door hinges? I don't know if, you, if you're familiar at all with vans or Jeep, uh, Jeep Wranglers. You'll know that, that these door hinges generally take a beating. Because there's really not a lot of paint that gets on them from the factory. But look at the condition that they're in. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. There's your back bumper, class three, four, uh, tow hitch, 
so you could pull your boat, your your car, if you want to pull your your classic car to the show. What a way to show up to pull into the show driving this baby. There's the back panel. See Universal. Universal is the is the conversion company. The lower body, the stripes. There's another wheel. Give you a little shot there. The wheels are are gorgeous. The wheels actually, I put the wheels, I put a new set of wheels on it when I got it because the clear coat had some age in it and I like my cars to be as nice as I can get them. So the wheels are brand brand new wheels. I actually think they're a, uh, a refinished wheel. I'll come along the uh, along the flare. This, this flare is, the flare on this side is is gorgeous. Right front wheel right there. You know, they're totally refinished on the inside and the out. I think in the gallery, there should be some pictures of the back side of the wheel. Chrome along the front. The turn signal. The headlight. I mean, the headlights, they're not even clouded over. They're, they, they look as nice as they, the day this baby was new. A couple of chips you'll see on the stripe there. Here's the grill surround. Chrome is really nice on the grill surround. Here's the driver's side headlight, left side headlight. Every bit as nice as the opposite side. There's the turn signal park lamp. Beautiful. I'll come up into the hood here a little bit. And I'm sure you probably, if you, on some of the stills I took in the gallery, if you blow them up, you'll be able to see a couple of the chips. I did detail them right when I when I first got the van, detailed it up. Here's your cowl molding. I think if you've again, if you've been around these Fords, the the Ford trucks, these cowl moldings always dry right out, crack, and they're a mess. Not on this one. 824 sticker. We just had it through the inspection, PA inspection again. Had the oil change serviced. There's your glass. Your glass is all nice. Mirror. Mirror is beautiful on it, the, the side mirror. I'll come over to the right side of the hood. Again, a couple of chips. You probably could see there in the video, a couple of chips. on Because these have such a big front end, they were prone to, prone to chipping. But that's hardly anything for uh, a 25-year-old vehicle like this. Come up here uh, on this side of the window. All nice again. The rubbers, look at the rubbers. The rubbers on the on the windows. I'll bring you up along the door one. Again, I'll try to show you the the belt molding. This is what just blows me away. Look at that belt molding. Generally, these things don't even last five years, let alone 25 years. Look at it. Again, the hinges, as I talked about. Another uh, door handle with some gorgeous uh, uh, rivets in there. That you can see how nice they look. Come back to this one, the same door handle, cylinder, beautiful condition. Here's the, uh, just a little bit on the interior. I think I detailed everything pretty well in the, uh, in the gallery. All the woodwork, the leather, leather combination, leather cloth. There's your third row. Does have the rear, the rear, uh, AC climate back there. There's two handheld battery operated uh, DVD players that come with it <clears throat> in addition to the original uh, <coughs> excuse me TV VCR. There's a look at that big off. That's not old school. I don't know what it is. Other than me, I'm pretty old school. And like I said, there's the other DVD. And that's a little uh, a little power inverter that was with it. That charger right there is a charger for each one of these these DVD players. And you can see they have the the earbuds earbuds in them, so so you can use those. There's the speakers and the cup holders, the trim work. If you look at the back of the seats, the carpeting, the leather, the armrests, all the armrests look like that. Now they only had the one, the one boy this couple, 
and uh, he, he's a little bit older. He's, well, he's pushing 50, pushing 50 now. So, you know, it's not like there were kids in this all the time. I don't think anybody was ever in the third row. Take a look at that. I don't know for sure, but it sure looks it. It sure looks it. All the cup holders, the uh, headliner, all of that, that real wood that they, that they put in these vans. There's your headliner. Even, I don't know if you noticed this, I'll even show you. Look at how nice like the seat frames are. You know, look at that. You just, you don't, you don't see that today. Door jams are great. How about like the hinges inside here? Take a look at that. Some of the hardware, some of the hardware inside the jam. Look at those hinges. I mean, this kind of stuff just knocks me out. Just knocks me out because it tells you what a what a beautiful vehicle this is, and how well it was maintained, how well it was cared for. You know, come down the door jam. Look at the bottom of that door jam. Just the thing they look at. Generally, these things have already started to bubble. I'll come up along the uh, the door panel, the door grab, the buttons, etc. Handle. Come across the dash. Here's the uh, passenger seat again. Look at the armrest. There's the center console, the engine cover and the cup holders, the dash. In the driving video, we showed the operation of, uh, of all of this stuff here. Cassette still works. We had Dino's Christmas tape in there. There's lights inside there. If I get to it, maybe I'll do a, I'll do a another little video at nighttime so you can see the lights on the inside. It's, uh, it's, it's very Austin Powers. Uh, what does he say? Oh, behave. So there you go. There's the, there's the back of the driver's seat. And we'll come around the front once more. And there's one thing I want to show you. I have to grab the key. But I'm going to pause this one second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Silly me. I thought I needed the key to start it so you could see the mileage. But uh, forgetting it's a, it's a 98. And it's analog. They're not digital. But there you go with your miles. She's 78,614 right now. We've put only, only put a few hundred miles on it during... Our ownership I, I think and you come down here on the interior in case you're wondering that's a uh, a fan switch for the uh, climate in the back but if you look here steering wheel great shape all your controls are in nice shape there's that driver's seat all right beautiful leather is beautiful power buttons on the side carpeting there's there's the driver carpeting I think if you've had any any experience with these conversion vans I think you know that that sometimes they didn't use the the thickest of of carpeting and look at how nice that carpeting is really really beautiful but the uh, and there's just a, a different angle of the interior and come around the back here real quick I'll show you the the back area and what we did what we did back here for you Here's the back area, and just as a little uh, a little touch that we did, I've added a um, a little portable gas grill. It's brand new, has not been used. It's ready to go, ready for your burgers or your hot dogs. Has the tank with it and everything. It's a charbroil, brand new. And over here is a um, is a 12 volt or or 110. It's a uh, refrigerated cooler, and uh, you see it's got the uh, the adapters there for uh, either the cigarette lighter or you can use it use it in the house. What they recommend is that you uh, you know you have it chilled before you go on your trip, and you put uh, you put cool stuff in here or hot. It, it also has heat with it. I forgot to mention that. But you can see it's brand new, never been used, never been used. That's uh, that's our little gift. This is the uh, Right here is the uh, the rear the rear um, climate unit pulls in air 
pulls in air from down here and I, you're not gonna be able to see them on the back side right here where my hand is or where the vents are maybe I can get around to that one right there there's the other one right up here some more lights there's lights all through it like I said maybe later on I'll get to do a, uh, a video this is just a grab handle that comes out of out of here it's either a grab handle or for hanging uh, hanging your clothes right so that's that's what you got going going on there but again from the condition standpoint I'll just come in here in the jam a little bit look at the uh, look at the hardware just really I love this stuff and even here I'll bring you along the bottom the bottom of the jam which is usually a mess gouged up scratched up look at the corners no corrosion no rust no runs no hits no errors baby okay there's that uh, like I said well I, th I know I took that in a still but there is a little there's a crack right here which again the owner said it's been there for years and years so I think that'll uh, I think that'll do it for the walk around if you have any questions feel free to uh, reach out hit me up contact seller use the comments I'll do my best to uh, to get it everything answered for you if you have if you have any questions beautiful van i really think it's one of a kind you'll be hard pressed to find one in this condition i feel anyway in my opinion you know 25 years old in as nice a condition as this thing is so all right like i said i'll try to do another video later on when it gets a little darker to let you see uh the lighting on the inside because it's really cool and it might prompt you to go get a uh I don't know. Who knows? Maybe you get a get an Afro wig or something like that there, Austin Powers. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for stopping by the auction. This is Lair. Bye now.